homies. What's the dilly? Hey, homies. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi. It's been so long. It's your girl, Candace. And Omar. And welcome to the Comar Show. I promise you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Ricky, whoa. So, uh, it's a little shaky. It's a little shaky. We decided to come back for a very special episode. We didn't just want to come back to come back. We're here in a, in a foreign country, a new, a new location for us. Yeah, we've never been here before. We are in Honduras. to visit the Ush village, which is owned by Dr. Zebi. And we're here for some cleansing, physical, spiritual, mental. Yeah, we're gonna bring you guys along so you guys get the full 24 seven access of just how this thing goes. They got healing water, which they call thermal water, natural saunas. And alkaline foods. And alkaline uh, fruits and vegetables. So you guys are gonna get the full on experience just like we're getting it, because we're gonna bring you Alone because we got our man Biro back with us. Biro is back, you guys. All right. 18. We just landed. We took a four hour flight from LA to Miami, then a two hour flight from Miami to Honduras. It took us two hours to get through freaking customs and get our bags. We're now on a road in a luxury sprinter <laughs> headed to the Ushu village on a three hour drive. Lucky us. Three and a half. It's so like driving from LA to Phoenix, Arizona. That's the equivalent. I, it was so funny. I was like, it's like Miami to Orlando. Tomato, so. tomato. Tomato, 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 okay? Just random facts, like, I don't know if you guys know, but from TLC, Left Eye from TLC, she would come here all the time to this exact village for healing. She would come yeah. often to just come mind, body, soul, just get back in tune with the earth. It's a lot of earthing going on. You see how green these trees are in the back? <laughs> it's a lot of humidity, a lot of moist, a lot of heat. So we're just gonna try to experience it and enjoy it and touch the ground and do something different. And you know, we're always on our health journey anyways. We've actually been plant-based for the past 15 days prior to this trip. Man. We've been loving it. Actually, we got some dope recipes. Just you guys should check those out on our Instagram right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna constantly continue to explore new things in that kitchen. We enjoy how it makes us feel. And We've been feeling more vibrant. Our skin's been going a little bit more. We've How's the skin? Like this. It goes up. I told him, he's like, why do you always go up? It's because we go up. We don't want to go to down. Why like, do you women do, why your women be like this? Women be like, I got to wash my face. <laughs> I got to get a facial. I got to go and get a facial. What is that? Because, honey, it just all matters. Hence these braids, bitch. <laughs> Wait, what was your name again? Denny. Denny's. Denny's, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are we going to a restaurant or no? Yeah. It's, it's on the way, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Sugar cane. Oh, wow. Well, we're about to go eat really quick. Stop over on the way. In fact, it'll probably be the last time that we eat anything that's not all fully alkaline. Or and, raw. And to be raw. honest, at this village, we're only going to get three meals a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner will be minerals. Just sea moss. Sounds crazy. I know. To be honest, I'm expecting like all raw foods. If it is cooked, it's going to be high alkaline. The right things you got to put in your body. So we're gonna heal. I have PCOS, so I'm trying to completely reverse it. That's and, the and mission. And I, I have tons of just injuries that are still lingering from from playing in the NFL, and I'm trying to get in front of that before I turn 60. You know what I mean? Because so, we need to have babies still. Yeah. And we need to make sure we're healthy enough to make sure we raise these babies. That's a fact. So, and we got a wedding to get to, so That's you already fact. know what time it is. <laughs> Honduras! Ah! Woo! i get some food. You guys, the power just went out while we were in here. They say it happens often, but it's all good. Like, everybody's still, still working. We love our driver, Dennis. He's really cool. He speaks English. He's showing us around. 30 minutes in, and he's already brought us to the hottest spot in Honduras. And we're about to go to the next location, which is three hours away. I'm probably gonna take a nap and it's time to go. Let's get it. Okay, so right now we're on a hill that's going down. My man Denny's then put the car in neutral and there's something weird about this spot. Instead of going downhill, we were going in reverse. You don't go down, you go back out. Okay. Now it's in neutral, I don't do nothing. Some supernatural shit going on over here. And we already started with I don't the know what's going on, but that was <laughs> We're basically in the uh, 
Amazon. It was just raining five seconds ago, and it's 90 degrees out here. It's hot as shit, and there's live cattle. <laughs> There's no check-in area apparently, I guess, and we're, just, we're gonna just walk into our room. I know we got the, one of the newer rooms that it's a, it's a circle. The one bedrooms are over there where B-roll stank, so we're gonna see that. Back there, the glass house, Dr. Sebi's house, where he would stay. This is it. I guess we're waiting to see how we can get the door open, and sounds like nature. Sounds like peace. Sounds like peace. Tranquility. Tranquility. Peace and tranquila. Tranquilo. Peace and leave me the hell alone. We're gonna go to sleep to these sounds, but check this out. I'm about to get a deep tissue. So these are the the prices for anything. Chakra alignment, doing it. I brought my uh, tiger's eye. Got here tonight and we met an awesome man who told us kind of what to expect because the people that work here don't get here I guess till tomorrow. The power went out and it's raining. It literally started raining as soon as the sun started going down. That was a lot. It was like felt like a really big culture shock. But we're here. We finally made it. Our home for the next week is right here. Omar went to go take a big shit. I haven't really checked it out. We just put our bags down. Careful with this. This looks like somebody's ready to slip and fall. I think Omar's taking a shit, so mind your nose. Omar, what are you doing? You made it stay. Cleansing the space. Who is it? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Come on in. Hey. <laughs> What's this? Sopa? Sopa? Sopa. Oh, okay. Gracias. What's in the sopa? Sopita. Okay. Gracias. Ahorita la traigo. Okay. Cleansing the space, and we got some food. How about that? that? Any arrival after 4 p.m. will have a plate of alkaline electric food and thermal water in the room and sea moss. You will be receiving an explanation about the benefits of sea moss. I thought that we were going to be left out cold. What? And then a nurse is available from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Monday to Friday. Oh, weekend nurses arrive Saturday morning and leave Sunday morning. So, we're so we have in, a nurse arrive tomorrow. Yeah, we're in the nook of time where like nobody's that here. That one space there, nobody's here. But the fact that we just got a soup is lit because I didn't even think that was gonna happen. I thought we were fasting. I thought I thought they were gonna just leave us dry, but they're taking care of us. Ain't that good? Why did I think that was a window? It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Okay. It's a mirror. There's a whole map of this place, babe. We don't smell you. Oh, okay. You're overloading. I had to take a you're overloading me with sage. Keep it sacral. She probably thought you were smoking weed. Tu puede, puede come in. That's b -roll's food, alkaline soup. I love that we get soup. Are you kidding? It's raining outside? Come on, that's so nice. Tu nombre? Bessie. Bessie? Okay, nice to meet you. I'm about to eat. Go ahead, get your food. Oh, that's hot. So it starts with the entrance. There's Dr. Sebi's house, there's the gym, and to the right it's all of the rooms with the hot water in the middle, which is thermal water, the fountain, which is all natural thermal water. Boom, there's a meditation area. You know, we're right across from the spa. And I think we're in room 19 or 20 where it's like a new build, so we're in the new build. And I'm here for the new build. Life is good. Looks like some potatoes, Squash. Does it have seasoning in it? Some zucchini. Let's see. You're not really a soup guy, so let me. It's all right. Is it warm yeah. enough? I love soup. The only thing it's probably missing is noodles. Good enough. Perfect. Good enough. 
This reminds me of my grandma's soup, actually. Really? Yeah. It's cold. This is comforting. It's day one for real this time. Oh wow, they're doing yoga over there. I'm hungry. I just had to back you out. I left some toilet paper in the freaking toilet. Melo, so good. It ain't no equinox, but it'll do. Savage work going on out here. It tastes like eggs. No, it doesn't. It's egg water. 